Sergio in Brazil writes, in my experience, I still prefer analog audio, vinyl and reel-to-reel -reel tape, uh, than digital sound. Analog is more natural, closer to reality, better to listen to. The opposite happens with images, videos, and photographs, where digital has a better resolution than analog. So why digital video and uh, photography resolution is so much better than digital audio resolution? Well, okay, <laughs> I don't necessarily agree with you. I have said many times that vinyl has a charm to it that is undeniable. I have seen people literally get tears in their eyes listening to a track on vinyl where the eyes are dry listening to that same track in digital. Vinyl has a way of evoking emotions that is just, I wish I understood more as an engineer. I'd like to know more why it does. But I hear it too. I mean, it's, you know, um, I just, I love vinyl, but I tire of it over time. It's kind of like having too much flavor in food. The first time you do it, it's like, whoa. And over time, it's like, mm, it's a bit much. That's just me. I. I, it's it's just so flavored uh, and, and I keep going back to natural to real so the resolution of digital audio is light years greater than analog just just is analog is limited to about 70 DB on a good day for a dynamic range we would be lucky to get 20 kilohertz out of it. Where in digital, we can have 120 dB of practical dynamic range. We can have easily 50, 60 K of sound. We can have distortion levels that are ridiculous. And it's just a better format. It's more real. Now that doesn't appeal to everybody, and I get it. And another note, He's asking why digital photography is so much better than analog photography. And there is a reason for that. And the reason is kind of the same. So I just told you that analog audio vis-a-vis -vis tape or vinyl is limited to this. Okay, That's all you can get out of it. Analog photography, of which I did for, gosh, from 8x10 view cameras, I had a, uh, you know, a drum scanner. I mean, I really got into it. I had an iris color printer. Now, I know there's probably like three people watching that know what an iris color printer is. It is, was the finest inkjet printer on the planet to this day. There is not an inkjet printer, and everything you get today is done on inkjets. And you get these giant, fancy Canon inkjets, you know, when you have your, your pictures done, it's all by these fancy uh, inkjets. Well, the iris ha had a drum that rolled like this and a, a head that went across like a drum scanner. And these special archival inks, the blacks on an iris color printer, stunning. I still have in in our bedroom i have pictures that i look at almost daily that the blacks on that are absolutely stunning and you never see that today that they, they just they haven't even come close but okay so off subject here so anyway i was very involved in photography needless to say and film has a limitation film is silver halide granules put onto plastic, right? They're little tiny silver halide grains, if you will, and they are finite. There is only so much resolution. When you blow up a picture 
from film, you see all that grain, okay? Well, that's all the little bits that turn certain colors and brightness whenever you shoot it from the negative. And that's just the resolution of film is fixed. It only goes so much and then you run out, just like vinyl. It only goes so much and then you run out. In digital, we can go on forever. We can go down to the molecular level if we want, right? So my, my stupid iPhone has more resolution. My iPhone has more resolution, just in case you didn't hear that the first time, than my 8x10 view camera film with a drum scanner, the finest that was ever made, my stupid phone has higher resolution. My camera, I have a, a Sony fancy schmancy camera. I think it's, good grief. I, I don't remember how, it, it's like one of the biggest image sensors out there. The files are huge. So anyway, enough rambling. Hope that answered your question. Talk to you later. <laughs> Bye.